Let's solve some easy dynamic programming problem. In this problem we are asked to count the number of ways to construct n by throwing a dice some number of times and adding the results. For example, to get the sum of 3, we could have the following scenarios. Throwing 1 3 times, throwing 1 and then 2, throwing 2 and then 1, or just throwing 3. Pause if you want to think for yourself and play the video to see my solution. So first let's try to come up with the answers step by step. For sum 0, we have only one way of getting it, not doing anything. For sum 1, we also have only one way of getting it, just throwing 1. For sum 2, we can have 1 and then 1, or just 2. That gives us two ways. For sum 3, we have 4 as shown before, and so on. You might see some patterns here, for example powers of 2, but these are just sums of all the previous elements. But it breaks for 7. Why? Pause if you want to think some more. Well, that's because if we want to create some x, we can do so by taking some x minus 1 and throwing an additional 1. Or by taking some x minus 2 and throwing additional 2. And so on, up until x minus 6. We can take x minus 7 because we can't get 7 with one throw. That's why we only add the last 6 numbers. Follow for more and let's max out your coding. 